What is up, everybody? I am the D, and this is a spicy review, a hot sauce review. This is one I've done before. Yes, you. Uh, if you've seen my early reviews, this is a repeat. This is Blueberry Hell by Hellfire. Now, the reason I am redoing this is because Mr. Jack Meats, the uh, guy who owns the company or created this sauce, um, saw my first review and, you know, it, he wasn't too pleased with it. No, it was not a great review. Um, I was blunt, I was honest, and I'll be honest in every video I have, but I didn't want to be too harsh, and I guess I was kind of harsh. He explained to me that the cold packer messed up, added a little bit too much of this, too much of that, not enough fruit flavor of the blueberry, and too much of the um, peppers, and I guess that's how it worked out. So he wanted to give me a new one after they fixed it. He fixed it. He gave this to me at the Houston Hot Sauce Festival, and um, I'm going to review it. Hopefully, this is better tasting. Now, there you go. There's the bottle, and I'm going to get to the ingredients right now. Super small uh, reading on there, so let's read it. Red jalapeno peppers, Trinidad scorpion peppers, Bujolokia peppers, blueberries, red, red serrano peppers, red seven pod peppers, red wine vinegar, sugar, blackberries, pears, garlic, beets, pineapple, papaya, grape juice, orange habanero peppers, honey, sea salt, and lemon juice. Shake well and refrigerate after opening. Um, look at the color. You see the color? That's a dark blueberry-ish color. Blackberry or blueberry, you can call it. Um, that actually looks darker than the first one that I got. I like the color of it, though. I really do. And, of course, the you know logo, the label on there, it's very nice as well. So here we go. Sorry for any background noise you hear, by the way. Shake it up a little bit. And I don't have my knife. Dang it. Bear with me, and I'm going to try and open this up. There's not an easy opening tab or anything. I think I got it. Alright, and here we go. Alright, so it smells. It smells a lot similar to the first one. And it smells like a jalapeno peppers. I don't get any signs of a... Uh, any, any aroma of the... Um... Fruit that's in there. It smells like pepper, straight. Kind of dark smell to it. Alright, so here we go. Let's get this show on the road. Got me a tablespoon and we're gonna try it. I like the consistency of it though. It's not really a full one. Not too big. Just because I don't really want to do a full teaspoon right now. Or tablespoon. So, here we go. Wow. Wow. I'm very impressed. That was very nice. It has me hiccuping. There's heat to it, yes. Not a lot of heat, though. Tolerable. Um, I'm picking up on the blueberries. I couldn't pick up. On blueberries last time, I rem remember this, but I'm picking up on blueberries. Picking up on garlic. A tiny bit of garlic. I'm picking up, like, on pears. Bujolokia peppers. Very all around, great salt. I like this a lot. He changed a lot. I can taste it. Very, very good. Um, 
I think that's really all I pick up on. It has the burn of a jalapeno. No, I can't compare it to a pepper. That's really not comparable to a pepper. The burn for me on a scale of one to ten would be a four. Um, it's attacking my lips. It's attacking the front part of my tongue, and it's attacking my, the middle of my throat. On flavor, one to ten, that would be a seven. Very nice. I like it and enjoy that thoroughly. I bet that would even taste better if I had it on some kind of meat, some kind of uh, pork or or ribs. I actually bought some ribs earlier, and I think I'm going to use this tonight for the game. Very nice sauce. I'd recommend you go and get some. Yeah. I was surprised. I like this a lot more than the first one. Alright, guys. There you go. I'm the D, and that was your review. As always, stay sexy. Stay hungry and eat chilies. I'll see you in the next review. Later, people.